Hey guys, what up? Jay Santa house back in the garage, and today we're cleaning this filthy engine block. So um, I got some purple power, one gallon. So we're gonna use this, and I got these from the dollar store. Just uh, let's see, got brass, nylon, and stainless steel brushes. I'll probably try and use the nylon. Because right now I'm just trying to clean it up. Um, I'll scuff it up later and actually take a wire brush uh, attachment on a drill to it once it's ready to be painted. But uh, I'm not doing that until this thing is like ready to be put back in. So um, I'm just giving it an initial clean. And yeah, so let's get started. engine is degreased um, I just wanted to get it clean enough so I could take it apart because it was like the most disgusting thing ever I tried to get video of it if it doesn't show up whenever I edit it I'll add some pictures in. it was just it was coated in oil especially around the bottom of the timing chain cover um, but yeah, I got it roughly clean. I'm obviously going to clean it a little more thoroughly before I paint it and do all that good stuff, but I'm not going to paint it until later because it's probably going to be like one of the last things I do before I put the engine in. Um, but yeah, I just, I also just finished shaving the battery support. Um, and I pulled out the welder and I'm going to start shaving these little holes here. And I also there's, I accidentally put a little bit of a hole in there. I don't I don't think that was there before I cut. I think I accidentally cut a hole, so I'm gonna try and fix that. Um I just started cutting some templates to, you know, hide this frame rail seam, or not seam, but to just hide the profile of this frame rail because, like, if you see over here, the, like, wheel well area, it ends right here. So what, I, what I'm trying to do is kind of add a piece here so once the headlight is in, it just looks all like one flat area so I went ahead and cut out a template out of cardboard and I don't I don't care if you guys are gonna laugh but I it's a Saturday so I didn't really have uh, like a metal working place to go to to get some sheet metal so pizza pan um, I think it should be big enough to fit both in but this was like less than five bucks so not bad so we're going to see how it works out. I'm going to go ahead and pull this template off the car and trace it on here and then I'll get cutting. So I just got these finished. Here's the one. I made a cutout for the washer fluid reservoir. And the other one is right here. Oops. Right here. Um, no cutout because it doesn't need one. So, cool. So now I'm gonna um, get the welder started and start tacking these things in. What are you doing, Nick? My rear brakes <laughs> and rotors. Look at all that rust, Volkswagen. Not even that bad. Silicas don't don't sweat brake dust. Because they don't go fast enough to stop. Exactly. <laughs> this is what I'm using. For the seams, it's flexible but sandable, so I'm going to give it a try. I haven't seen anyone else use it, like on forms or anything. The seam sealer that I got, I didn't really, I got it just in case, but I don't really know if I want to use it because it's like you can't get it quite as The 
fresh lube. Quality lube. Yeah, it should not easy to work. How the hell are we going to do Burke and Express Link? I don't know. I don't know how works. I'll always work to the shop. <laughs> He's too good for the express lane. <laughs> I don't really care, dog, so I'm not going to be there long enough for it to matter. Butter. You sound butter. <laughs> oh, I took the tractor down. The 112, I'm showing him. Just showing him. cleaned up a little bit but uh yeah motors over there here's uh, the progress I've been making with this side um I still gotta sand a good bit but uh and fill but it's making progress so yep so gotta do that whole other side and then paint and then cleaning the engine replacing some seals and gaskets then more paint and then put it back in and then drive it and yeah it would be nice I have this all the seams on this side done and then pretty much what I'm doing now is filling in the non seam areas so I can use like a regular um, filler type so I'm using um, this stuff Evercoat Easy Sand and this stuff is doesn't advertise being flexible it's just a regular like glazed putty so that's what I'm using for the uh, more flat areas but um, yeah, so I need to sand those down, but the seams on this side I think are probably about as good as they're going to get. Um, I might need to do a final sand over them and maybe fill in a couple like pinholes, but other than that, I think this side seam wise is done. This side, um, I just, uh, not last night, two nights ago I put on um, some seam sealer the first coat so I'm gonna try and work on sanding that today this stuff just it does it never really feels like it fully cures so I'm a little worried about sanding that like what it's gonna what it's gonna do but um, the other side sanded fine so um, I guess we'll give it a try and see what happens um, but yeah so I'm gonna Sorry I haven't been recording. I always say this, but like I just forget. So I'm going to keep with it, and um, I'll just I'll try and keep you guys updated as much as I can. But um, I'm gonna, I might set up a time lapse or something of me working on this, because that's just easier for me, so I don't have to keep stopping and hitting record. So. Um. <laughs> Alright guys, it's uh, yard sale weekend in my neighborhood and I just picked up a free dual 12 inch subwoofer box from um, a work friend of mine. So it's free so I don't know anything about subwoofers but uh, I'll let you guys know what's in it and you can comment and help me out. Alright guys, it. Da, 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 da. so <laughs> it uh, needs some work but it's actually really big um, but yeah he 
the guy said it's a dual 12 inch um, so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take out this speaker and see what the like specifications are in the back here's what we got which is a little disappointing because now I'm at, that means I'm at the Google what this speaker is because I thought it would just say on the back the the uh, the power and the resistance or whatever but looks like I'm gonna have to do some googling so I'll take you guys on that journey Nick just giving me some pointers I need to know the sub power I'm about to check sick these don't look the same let me see if I can find a model number somewhere alright so I think the reason I couldn't find it because I was looking under shopping and I don't think they make the speaker anymore but uh I did find it on Crutchfield. This looks like the same thing, Thunder 5000. And if you go down to the specs, it's uh, 8 ohm impedance, 12 inch, and the RMS is 50 to 250 with a peak of 500 watts. So um, I don't know too much about speakers, but I do know that those the impedance and the the power are important in finding an amp so I'm gonna look around and see if I can match a speaker to this one this one might be garbage but if that's the case I might just get a second cheap one probably just get the cheapest thing on Amazon Prime yeah so I'm gonna put in the comments help me out if you know any like good cheap setups that I could um, run I don't know what I'm gonna put this in this thing's huge I don't even know if it would fit in the Celica I mean, it would. It's just it would take up my whole trunk. But, uh, all right. Cool. I'm going to get back to work on the engine bay.